Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We we are here to solve missing women, children, and men cases. So let's begin. This is by a young woman named Remy Lee, 31. Pretty woman tells police her boyfriend shot her before dying. This is how she looks. She looks familiar. I think she's from Tessa County, Texas. Her name's on the tip of my tongue. And no, it's not much I love, but it's on the tip of my tongue, though. Okay, so let's begin. A domestic dispute concluded with the murder of a pregnant mother, Wimmy Lee, 31, lived with her mother at the Brook Soleil Terrace Apartment Complex in Patterson, New Jersey, while her ex-boyfriend, 30-year-old Don Craig Thomas, lived on the other side of the city. On Thursday, October the 28th, eight months pregnant, Wimmy Lee left her home and went to her doctor's appointment. She would therefore check up on her impending delivery, but sadly, her life was taken from her. Okay, so she was trafficked. Maybe the woman, the, the couple, she was trafficked. Okay, maybe the couple that you know she was with or whatever trafficking. Um, the woman probably thought the wife, the wife of the couple thought she probably got pregnant by the man, so she killed her. Okay. When Remy Lee returned home, she was violently accosted at it immediately after she exited her vehicle. Gunshots rang out, and Remy was seen lying in between two vehicles in the parking area. Emergency responders were called to the scene, and as they attended to her injuries, Remy Lee told them and witnesses who shot her. This is the man, okay, or he could be deceased as well, okay? It was my baby's father, she said, see? Then she gave them Don, Don Cray's nickname and told them it was Cray. Remy's mother and sister reportedly rushed out of their apartment to see what the commotion was all about. Remy was rushed to the hospital, and doctors did their best to not only save her life, but the life of her unborn child. Not long after being shot, Remy Lee gave birth to a healthy baby girl. Not long after, Remy succumbed to her injuries and passed away. Had the couple just said yes, they got the baby. Surveillance cameras at the apartment complex would actually cut the baby out, okay? Or it could have been a, um, a room raiding murder, okay? Surveillance cameras at the apartment complex captured the tragic, tragic moment that Remy was assaulted. The video footage shows a red Dodge door allegedly driven by Thomas entering the complex and finding a parking lot, a parking spot around 10.45 a.m. Fifteen minutes later, the car moved to a different spot and waited for an hour and a half until Remy returned and parked to the left of the Dodge. She seemingly suddenly fell into the ground before the Dodge door fled the scene. Days after the shooting, Thomas turned himself into Patterson Police. He has been charged with first-degree murder as well as se severe weapons offenses. It's unclear, the, conclu it's unclear the prison sentence that will arrive with potential guilty verdict. The investigation is ongoing and little is known about the circumstances leading up to this unfortunate event at the time of this publication. I send my sincere condolences to her family, friends, and loved ones. Please share this story about Remy Lee. She's our sister and her life matters. Okay? Also, with this guy right here. A long time ago, this would be a, dis a dispatcher for the police department. And it was a civil killer on the loose. And he kidnapped a young lady or whatever. A couple of days ago, I got the download to... She was in trouble again. Okay? Because every time she's in trouble, I... You know... I come and get her. Okay? So... She she said the dude was with the dude I did the Bible story on. He had she had he had his face on his face. So he is deceased, okay? So y'all like to help with this case for both of them, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it for what I love to do and to the real family of the victim. Corporate America will set you up, okay? Thank you.